Okay, so they have a lot of pots, a lot of clay pots, a lot of uh, uh, clay uh, pots that have been fired. Um, they're really nice big pots and they're very, very expensive uh, for these pots. I'll show you some pots that I get when I need a really big pot when we get back up towards the front. So over here are more palms. You know, I didn't do, I have one that somebody dropped off for me um, this summer and I, it didn't do well. I, oh, I don't know. Things you have to just let go of. This has nothing to do with you. It's just some plants. So I'm getting it back up here to the um, bedding plants. So let's see if they have, let's start with vegetables and then we'll see if they have any, any uh, flowers, what kind of flowers they have. So spearmint, as you know, I'm good for killing spearmint. Any kind of mint doesn't like me. Um, kale. I'm pulling this great big cart and it's cumbersome. Yes, this is says songbird, ornamental kale songbird. Um, cabbage. Late flat Dutch. More cabbage. More kale. What is this? Oh, broccolini. You know the thing I thought was a caterpillar that ate my broccoli? That was actually a giant, a giant um, grasshopper. Yes, it was a grasshopper. And I found him today. He was in another one of my plants, but I couldn't catch him. So I'm on a hunt for this giant uh, uh, grasshopper that uh, is at my house. So I'm gonna take a flat a broccolini so I can use it to replace the one that the grasshopper fed off of. I put the broccolini in my cart and moved it out of the way so I'm not pulling it with me. See, Brussels sprouts. Anybody like Brussels sprouts? This is cauliflower. Cauliflower. More cauliflower. Cheddar cauliflower. They got the yellow cauliflower. Um, parsley or cilantro? Oh, celery. Celery, celery, celery. I love celery. I love the way it looks when it grows up. I had some last year and I've got some seeds that are starting to come up this year. And of course we've got lettuce. This is the red salad, red salad bowl lettuce. I've got my seeds started already, so I'm not gonna buy any transplants. Let's see what else we got going on here. More celery, uh, lettuce, not celery. My mind is on celery right now. I love celery. Oh, more salad bowl lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce. Did you know that Yuma is the lettuce capital of the world? Yeah, we make a lot of lettuce here. So if we go down that way, that's more flowers. So I wanna come back down this way to see uh, what kind of vegetables we have. Um, four inch cups for $1.99, that's not bad. Um, but we have a bunch of onions. Yep. I'm still waiting for my walking onions to walk. They haven't done anything yet. 
I think they sold me something that wasn't what it was. Oh, look at this. They've got Walla Walla onions. Those are really good onions. But I thought they only grew those in Walla Walla, but <laughs> I guess not. More mint for me to kill. I'm not taking that home. Yellow sweet. Spanish onion. Oh, yellow sweet Spanish onion. More Walla Walla onions. Looks like we have more onions coming down. Yes, more onions, more onions, more onions. Uh, tomatoes, sweet baby girl tomatoes. I got some sweet 100 started and I got some um, top hat or tom hat, some kind of um, dwarf tomatoes that are coming up. Um, Right, you guys, what's going on? I'm at the nursery now. What's up? Dill. That doesn't. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Oh, there's sweet 100s. See, I have planted uh, two pots with sweet 100s. Okay. Sweet basil. I have tons and tons and tons of basil. Let's see. Yeah, that little cabbage worm has been out here doing this thing. Look at the holes in all of these. I think they just attack brassicas. I'm not sure. But that thing, it, they, they, you find them on the back of the leaf. So you have to look at every single leaf to find it. And it's green. It's the same color of the leaf, and they're very good at hiding. So I've got some problems like that at home that I need to stop looking at somebody else's leaves and go home and look at my own leaves. So here's some early girl tomatoes. Tomato sugar bush. Hmm. Okay, so sugar bush tomatoes. So they have quite a few uh, vegetables ready uh, to start planting. Over here on the flower side, um, these are violas. Viola. 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 They look like um, Viola. They remind me of that other plant. What is it called? Um, can't think of the name of it, but it looks just like these. Viola. Penny Jump Up. Geraniums. Oh, baby geraniums. Look at that. I've not had good luck with geraniums. They're very beautiful. They have a beautiful orange flower on them. I've had them for a couple of years, and every year they get attacked by something. So I'm not going to do geraniums this year. This is Gazinia. Gazinia. Nice flower, but I don't like the looks of the leaves. So that is it here. They have a few of uh, these. I think these are moss roses. I'm not sure, but I believe that's what they call them. Is uh, moss roses. This is some asparagus fern, and you know, these grow out at Moody Gardens, so those should be pretty good for growing in your yard. But I'm looking for something that has flowers that's going to attract the hummingbirds and I don't believe these flower. More cacti and I think some succulents. Oh 
oh, you know, these are cool. Those look like green beans hanging from a string. They, they drape over a pot. So those are really cool. Afro, Afro document. Well, that's what we call um, that's what we call the um, elephant bush. Those are pretty. Cacti. If you don't want anybody coming near you, grab some cacti. There is some cacti that don't have um, uh, stickers on them though, but most of them do. And so that is it. So this is the end of the tour. We're back around to where we have the uh, Viola. Um, and so um, I'm going to end the tour of the uh, Yuma Nursery right now. This is the Yuma Gardener, and I'm just checking out what uh, they have growing here. I did find something that I needed, so I am going to grab that uh, uh, broccolini and replace what was eaten by my giant grasshopper. So this is the Yuma Gardener. If you like this channel, uh, please... Uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I will be checking back with you soon. This is the Yuma Gardener. I'm still here at the um, garden center. And I just um, talked to the manager and was able to get a 10% discount through the end of this month for my students that are taking my class tomorrow. So that's pretty exciting. But also what I found inside, and I couldn't uh, video it because there were a lot of people lined up and I didn't want to get them in the video uh, without their permission. So um, anyway, what uh, I saw inside was they have seeds for desert uh, plants, uh, native plants they had a seed for the um, oh, desert uh, marigold and uh, some other uh, plants that are grown out here in the desert. So that might be, this might be a really good place to pick up on some seeds. Now the discount that I have is just for the plants. So uh, they're not gonna give you a discount on fountains, which that's a gorgeous fountain right there, or uh, rocks or gravel or anything like that, so. Anyway, uh, this is the Yuma Gardener. Just wanted to add that real quick message.